Would you still use Blender? If you had to pay for it. Alright guys, how's it going? Hope you're doing very well. Now, straight off the bat, I'm going to be extra lazy. I'm not even going to bother editing this video. So I apologise if there's background noise, if I stumble across my own words, which I probably will. There is a Scotland game in the next 20 minutes, so I want to kind of get this done and dusted by then. <laughs> but there was a comment on my channel today. I'm not going to point out or anything like that, but basically the user says, Nobody would use Blender if it wasn't for free. And I kind of thought to myself, that's a bit of bullshit, mate. Oh, there's my dog. Hello, son. Hello. So, yeah, I think the user was having a problem with an add-on, and that's another thing I just want to quickly pick up on. See if you're going to be a dick in the comments, I definitely won't answer your comment. Uh, I generally try and answer some questions. Some questions I just can't answer, some are just thick as shite, and you just think, how can I answer that? So, yeah, don't be a dick in the comments, be nice to each other. But anyway, the comment mainly was, Nobody would use Blender if it wasn't for free. And this kind of gets echoed yesterday. I was watching a Twitch conversation with a bunch of other artists. And that kind of pretty much get brought up in the same kind of... The same kind of narrative. Oh, well, I use commercial software, so that makes it better. Eh, not really. And I was thinking, why did I use Blender? Or why did I move to Blender? I think part of it was because of the price. Now... I'm probably fortunate enough that I'm in the position to buy Lightwave, model, whatever I need to buy. And you could probably argue, yeah, best job for the tools, whatever gets the job done. But I kind of thought, nah, I use Blender for different reasons. I think the community is pretty good, to be honest. I think it's got a great community. I actually think the management, uh, Ton, all the other guys and, and girls at Blender, they're actually pretty approachable. And I think that's a good thing for a company, and I don't know many 3D companies like that. I think Houdini's pretty good. I think if you really need to get in touch with them, you can get in touch. But when it comes to Blender, most of the developers are approachable. They're, most of them are open source or as well, so they kind of have that, yeah, come and talk to me approach. Doesn't mean you should, but anyway, they do. So I think that's one reason why I would use Blender. Second reason is market growth. And this is a big one. Nobody really talks about this. But the market is growing big time. Uh, so in the next four or five years, you're going to start seeing a lot of Blender jobs, which is good. This is always going to be a good thing. Sorry, my dog is casting and his hair's coming off. I'm on fucking mental. Hello, son. Uh, so yeah, market growth. And right now I'm in a team of four Blender artists in a production. So good stuff, good stuff. So do you pay for Blender? I think you do in time, obviously. You need to learn it. Is it the best application out there in the market? Nah, don't think so, but it's good. Do you pay for it in add-ons? Now, there's a lot of things where Blender falls short, but so you can spend money on things like the Boxcar. Perfect example. Absolutely fantastic price. You'll not get a better modeling tool for the money. So, yeah, you'll spend a little bit of cash on it, but pennies in comparison. Uh, I just wanted to know, just having a conversation, would you use Blender if it wasn't for free? Now, obviously, you've got the whole, I can't afford software, Blender's free, it's it's good, so you've got that kind of whole side of it as well. Anyway, do me a favour. Forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me as well, support me, God, God. You know what to do.